Hello everyone, it's Yvette with Polished After 60. In today's video, I thought that I would go over some tips for when you're wearing your sweaters this season. So hold on, and I think I'll be right back in a minute. Hold on, this little sucker is giving me a hard time today. Hold on. Alrighty guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you're stopping by for the very first time, my name is Yvette, the channel is Polished After 60, and I go over topics for the more mature woman, those of us who are 60 and older. And in today's video, I thought that I would just do a quick little video to go over some topics for when we're wearing our um, colder weather uh, sweaters. And um, we're getting right into the thick of things. Many of you have had cold weather for a while, but January and February and part of March is typically the coldest weather. And um, as you may know, or as you've seen in the trends, we are wearing chunkier and slouchier uh, sweater, those sweaters that are much more oversized. And I thought that I would just give you a few tips, trips and um, tips for uh, when you're wearing your, uh, your, your sweaters. Now, one thing that I do, especially with these oversized sweaters, is I typically tend to go down at least a size um, because all these weathers are very, very oversized. And if you, sometimes if you wear your typical size, you'll find that you will be just swimming in that sweater. And that's just extra fabric, um, extra, um, you know, layers and thickness that we don't really need to add to our bodies and to our style. It can give us a little bit of a frumpy look. And you know, guys, none of us want to look frumpy. So be aware when you're sizing your sweaters, especially those that tend to be more oversized, you might want to go down a size or maybe even two sizes, all right? Another thing is if you're wearing a sweater that fits closer to your neck, either a mock neck sweater like I have here or a turtleneck sweater, uh, you might want to consider pulling your hair back a little bit because if we leave our hair down, that's just a lot of extra bulk and it adds um, to the overall uh, to your overall look and sometimes it looks a little bit nicer when our pull when we pull our hair back another thing is be aware of your accessories ladies right we don't want to wear um, earrings that are so huge and overbearing that we just overpower the look um, I'm wearing a little bit of a hoop but it's not a huge hoop I could have even easily worn a pair of small studs and that might have even looked a little bit nicer. Um, another thing is uh, be aware of the proportions that uh, we use when we wear our oversized sweaters. So um, if you're going to be wearing a pair of jeans, uh, look for a straighter cut jean, even a slim or a skinny jean that they're saying is going out of Style. I think that a skinny jean is actually a classic and there are many times when a skinny jean is exactly what we need. When we wear an oversized sweater, um, you might consider wearing a skinny jean because um, especially for those of you who are in a much colder climate, you might want to wear jeans with your outfit. And if you're wearing a high cut jean, let's a uh, high cut boot, let's say you're wearing a uh, boot that comes comes um, up to your knees, then it's easier to tuck in a skinny jean or even a jegging into, uh, into a boot. So um, take that into consideration. So a straight leg jean, a skinny jean, a bootleg jean, um, believe it or not, is also a very pretty jean. Um, it accentuates the curves of the body and it's a very pretty jean to be wearing with an oversized sweater. In fact, for this particular look, I'm going to pull back in a second, but for this particular look, I 
have chosen to wear a pair of boot cut um, jeans and I've also chosen to wear a pair of pointy toed flat shoes because that will elongate the look of your leg and I'll pull back and just a, well let me go ahead and pull back now so that you can take a look at the jeans and at the um, at the outfit in general something that I've also done is I've done a little bit of a tuck at the front um, we can leave that untucked but you see that you know that just adds to the front right away right so a little bit of a front tuck if you do not like to tuck your uh your jeans in you might consider wearing a little bit of a belt and this, then just blues on the um sweater up over it also uh take into consideration any necklaces that you might wear. If you wear a necklace, you want to wear something that is a longer length, especially if you're wearing a mock neck or a uh, turtleneck sweater like the one that I have on now. Uh, think about judging up your sleeves a little bit. That just um, shows a little bit of your arm and um, shows a little bit more of your body and you just don't look so overwhelmed by the sweater itself. Um, when you're choosing accessories, let's say you want to wear a scarf with your outfit, right? Think about uh, wearing a scarf and tying it in a way where you have the tails of the scarf showing over so that there's a little bit of length and that just adds it elongates the over look of your um, of the the overall look of your um, of your outfit also be aware of the purse that you carry um, you don't want something that is so huge huge bucket style bag or uh, something that's too overwhelming, too big, because that's just going to add more bulk to your entire body. If, you're go if you need to wear a jacket, many of you will. I'm here in Florida. For me, this is perfect. I might wear a light vest over it. Be aware of the layers and the thickness of the layers because the more layers you add on uh, to your bodies, ladies, the more and more you will grow in the overall girth, right? So be aware of those layers. It's also a nice time to wear leggings. If you like leggings, leggings with an oversized sweater is a beautiful look. You uh, might want to pull out a pair of uh, faux leather leggings would look beautiful with this outfit. Um, be aware of your purse. Like I said, I have this one here that is a small little shoulder bag, right? And um, it just doesn't add a lot of bulk to your outfit so it's just going to look a little bit better you might consider wearing a little vest to add warmth excuse me to add warmth to your body right you can you can leave it open if you're in a climate that's not too um too cold and that way again anytime you wear something that has an opening in the front it's going to elongate the look of your body and that's what you want to look for also think about wearing a head to toe color right um, if you're wearing gray on top think about wearing gray leggings a gray pair of jeans um, an outfit that is monotone in color will always serve you well, guys. It'll make you look beautiful. It'll make you look stylish and um, it elevates your style. Whenever we are in a monotone uh, dressing, not only will it slenderize and make you look longer and leaner, it also elevates your style. It uh, makes you look a little bit more polished. And that's what it's all about, right? Ladies, we wanna be comfortable, we wanna look nice, we wanna look polished, and we wanna look put together. So guys, really that's all that I have to share with you um, today. I hope it's not too cold where you're at.
get your um, chunky sweaters, your oversized sweaters out and just take a little bit of time to look at the accessories that you're going to be wearing with that sweater. Look at your pants, look at um, the jeans, the leggings, um, whatever you're going to choose to wear with that outfit and make sure that we're not looking too frumpy um, in the cold weather. Guys, I'm looking to the side. My two storks our cranes are out there uh, looking for me and calling for me to feed them. So I think this is going to be it for today, guys. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for stopping by, guys. You know how much I appreciate each and every one of you. Please keep your comments coming. They really make my day. Have a good day, guys, and I will be seeing you again real soon. Let's see if this works, guys. Bye. No, bye. She was, bye.